Hey everyone, welcome to Dissertation Zero for 11785. I'm Kipiano Koech, one of your TAs. And today, you're going to be, you're going to get you up and running with one of the most important tools this semester, Kaggle. Whether you have used it before or not, by the end of this session, you'll know exactly how we expect you to use it for your assignments, projects, and beyond. Deep learning models need two things, data and compute. Kaggle gives you both. You use Kaggle to run code, access GPU, train models, and submit your results all in the cloud. So this is how Kaggle is going to fit into this course. First is you'll run and submit most of your assignments on it, especially part two of your homework. Second, you're going to be giving you starter notebooks. Your job is to experiment, improve, and submit your results in private class competitions, which then we shall use it to rank your performance alongside your other course mates. You can also later leverage Kaggle Compute for your course projects later this semester. Please don't waste time downloading and uploading datasets. Once you join the competition, you can get the dataset directly into your notebook, as I'm going to show you in a later day. One of the best things about Kaggle yeah, is free GPU access, but it's not unlimited. T4, Tesla T4, you have 30 hours per week. This is what you are most likely going to use, and it has a maximum of 12 hours per session. Another uh, GPU you can get access to is the TPU, you have maximum nine hours per run, but these are optimized for tensor workflow. And in this course, we are, we are going to be using PyTorch, so you're most likely recommended to use GPU Tesla T4. This resets weekly, every Friday midnight, but when they run out, they are gone. You can't pay for more. That's why you need to use them wisely. So I want you to visit Kaggle.com, and this is the page you will see. Please proceed to sign up or sign in depending on whether you already have an account or not. Once you complete this step, this is the home page you're going to see. When you click on the notebooks here, it will open a tab with all the notebooks you have so far. Same goes for the competitions. It will open a list of all the competitions you have joined so far. This, is, this could be a quick way to access your notebooks and competitions. For starters, you're gonna need to check if you have access to Kaggle GPUs because that's the entire point of using Kaggle for this course. I want you to visit the top right corner of your Kaggle tab and click on that little icon so you could be seeing one of, these screen, one of these screenshots here. To my right, to my left, you can see your accelerator quarter subsection. Feel free to jump ahead about 30 seconds if you can see this. Otherwise, you're seeing this tab on the right. This means, uh, this means that you don't have access to Kaggle GPUs. This is majorly because you, you have not verified your Kaggle account with a phone number. This is Kaggle's way of reducing spams where people create so much emails to access the GPUs because you can only have so much phone numbers. That being said, you can use your friends' phone numbers to verify multiple Kaggle accounts to access more GPU time. As more often than not, you need more compute. I didn't tell you this at only client privilege. So how do you verify a Kaggle accounts? Please visit this settings tab here and then locate, and then locate the phone verification and then proceed. So once you have verified your phone number, your page should look like this. Your page should look like this once you are done. Another thing, the way we can uniquely identify you in the competitions is by giving us only one username from a Kaggle account that will be submitting your results to the competition leaderboard. And this is how you're going to find out your username. Visit the same little icon on the top right on your profile and copy and then click on your profile and then you copy this little text here. Either you copy this or you copy the username in your URL browser. This is really important or else your submissions will not be graded and you will suffer. Now, we're going to come to this in a moment, but when you want to create a new notebook or import certain notebooks that will be giving you, you can visit this little plus icon here, and then you can see new notebooks or import new notebooks. Another main tab you will visit often is the competitions tab and as a search bar where you can search for competitions and all course competitions. All our course competitions have a course code 11785 before them. When you start typing it, you can see them pop up and even past competitions that your predecessors who have taken this course before you have joined. Mark you. Our competitions are private and you need invitations to join them. Monitor Piazza during homework releases for the invitation. During my time, 
One organization hack I found was going to the competitions page and creating a new private notebook under the code tab of our organization. That way I can easily find the notebook I'm working on. As you understand that as time goes by, you can be having so many notebooks and it will be easy to find them. A few add on tips, please stop your notebook once you are done, writing early sessions with quarters. Always test one epoch first. If the notebook runs clean end to end, then pump up your epochs and let it train fully. Please remember to save your checkpoints because when once your session cracks and you haven't saved anything, it's gone. You need to restart all over again. Some people create multiple Kaggle accounts to get extra GPU time. It works, but it's your call. Just remember, each account needs a separate phone number. Let's see all this in action. I'm going to open a Kaggle notebook, load a data set, enable GPU, and just run a quick training cell just to ensure that we got this right. Yeah, okay, guys. Now to the demo. Uh, you can click on create, just write new notebook, and then just give it some time to come. So the first thing uh, we normally recommend you to check before creating or doing anything on the on cargo, you come here to settings, you come to accelerator, and if it's none, you are not using GPU, so you need to change it to GPU. Okay, this and it can show you that you have you know limited 30 hours per week, and I've already used my one hour, so I have 29 uh, hours remaining. So I can turn on the GPU. Then I can come and check if it's already turned on by typing NVIDIA SMI. Okay. So when you run this command, it's supposed to tell you, you know, what type of GPU you are using and, and everything. So as you wait for that command to uh, come up, uh, I told you that you can be able to easily access data sets that uh, are in the competitions you're going to share. So you come and click on add input. Then you come to competition data set and, you know, just search for whatever competition you're searching for. So for let's say from searching for 11785, you can see there are a couple of competitions here. So you just click on this plus icon, and then, you know, you say you understand. Sorry, no, yeah, you say I understand and accept these terms. And then, you know, yeah. When you come and cancel and everything, the data set will appear there. Just give it some time. So you can see uh, this command has completed uh, running. It's telling me that, you know, I'm using GPU. Yeah, so let's try again the data sets competition data set. Uh, so you can say 11, 785. So a couple of them will come here. Just click on the plus icon understand and accept. Understand and accept. Yeah, so that's the thing. You click on the data set, you say you understand and accept, and then you can see now we are downloading the data sets. So within due time, the data set is supposed to appear here. So another thing I would like to show you is sometimes you're trying to run, a, most of the time, let's say you'll be using import torch, but then the torch itself is not uh, present in your code base. So what you need to do is just, you know, use the exclamation mark, pip install, whatever library is missing. Let's say if it's NumPy or Pandas or whatever. Yeah, so that's one of the ways also you install uh, packages to, you know, it's already satisfied because it's already there. So you can check, uh, you can check the list commands, you can check the packages that you already have, as you can see, I have a couple of them here. Yeah, so once you want to submit to the competition, now you can see the competition is already recognized here. You can just click submit and then it will ask you to upload a data set or something. Yeah, and then the data set is already here, so I can just always access the data. You can see there's the dev clean, then the same PC, yeah, like, like ideally now you already have the data set here. You can just, you know, use it here. You can say data to cost, and then you just copy the path. You know, you just copy the path here. Then you just come in and put it there. And you already have access to the data set. Another thing that you need to make use of is uh, running on cloud. So once you have completed, uh, you have run one, you have run one notebook, and you realize that everything is running end to end. You increase the number of epochs and then you come here, schedule a notebook to run, then you change, you know, the trigger type. Okay, not uh, that's not the place. You come to session options, here it is. Okay, sorry. You come to save version, then you know, advanced settings, you change run with GPU, okay, for all the sessions, then you save, 
when you save what this means is that your notebook can run online so you can even quit google you can remove your laptop uh, the network connection to your laptop and you'll come back later and you'll find your results so when you click running you should be able to see uh, the results of whatever you know the logs you'll come and find everything here and any output you'll, you'll, you'll also find them there yeah so that's uh, pretty much it as i told you if you want to access competition data set you go to that particular place then if you want to see the output of whatever you're generating, come and see them here. They'll, more, they'll be stored in the output part. Yeah, guys, so it's been a pleasure. Uh, see you during the semester and cheers.